Welcome back, gamers, to another Gamer Juice episode. You know we always get straight on into the content, and it is no different today. Number 10. Customize your camera settings. Our first and one of the most important pieces of advice we can offer you is to just adjust your camera settings. How do you know your current camera settings aren't working out? Amongst other things, you'll know if you're having trouble hitting the exact point on the ball that you're looking for, or if your car is moving around too much on the screen and you feel as if you don't have control over it. The default camera does the basic job of showing you the action of the game, but sometimes a change can drastically alter the way you play. Reducing your camera distance so that the ball is larger on your screen goes a long way, and reducing the stiffness helps you feel more in control. You should aim for maximum awareness of where you are in relation to the positioning of the ball, the walls, the floor, and your opponents. Tweak the settings as you practice in the practice mode to also learn the unique mechanics and physics of Rocket League. You have the option of changing the field of view, height, swivel, angle, stiffness, distance, the camera shake, and even changing the ball targeting to either a toggle or hold command. Number 9. Never drive backwards. Our next tip is one of the most important. It's imperative to Never, and we cannot stress this enough, never drive backwards. Rocket League is a game where even a decision made during a tenth of a second could score you a goal or cost you the game. Driving backward means driving almost blindly and will feel clumsy and slow. More often than not, you'll bump into someone and lose momentum. Instead, we recommend you turn around. You can use the power slide or a jump method to turn. Remember. Momentum is everything in this game. Ease off the accelerator and don't brake suddenly. Over time, you'll find yourself reading the situation faster, and you'll know how to manage your speed and brakes without even thinking about it. Rocket League requires decisiveness. If you see a clean shot for the ball, go for it. Hesitation might cause you to helplessly watch as the ball flies over your head. Number 8. Epic Boosts one of the most epic parts of Rocket League's core gameplay is the boost capsules. Boosting launches you across the field to cut in or block rival cars and their shots. They also let you perform those awesome trick shots Rocket League is infamous for. That said, you shouldn't always go out of your way to pick up boosts. For each match, you're allowed to collect a maximum of 100 boost units. Every 4 seconds, common boost orbs on the field respawn and give 12 units to their collectors. Large orbs give 100 boost units, but they only respawn on the four corners of the field every 10 seconds. Boost is very quickly consumed, so you'll find yourself needing to routinely drive over boost orbs, and you'll have to impatiently wait for orbs respawning, which doesn't do well for the breakneck and intense speed of Rocket League matches. Those precious few seconds may give the other team an edge over you. Of course, you can't give up boosting. When your car reaches the purple effects from boosting, try to stop boosting, as you won't go any faster, and those orbs will be put to better use for aerial shots. You can also lunge forward instead by holding the joystick forward and double pressing the jump button. Do this a few times and you'll reach the same top speed. Number 7. A Strategy Of course, we all want to earn that glorious goal and perform epic tricks but winning a match sometimes means just supporting your team. If you find yourself the furthest car back, don't always race to the front. This means you're the last line of defense. Think of it this way. If all of your team is battling for the ball, then that means no one will be ready to clear a shot at your goal if the opposite team steals the ball. Try to hold off on committing until you're sure you're ahead of the opposite team in reaching the ball and communicate with your teammates to make sure that they themselves aren't going for the ball. One of the worst mistakes you can make is double or triple committing. Number 6. The World's Your Playground Rocket League's physics is notoriously complex, but seasoned players have learned to use them to their advantage. The ball is especially frustrating as it can ricochet around the field and is uncommon to remain in your possession for long. If you're in a particularly heated match, the ball will be airborne and hard to get a hold of. Rise up to the challenge and use your car's boosts and jump abilities to fly after it. As we've said before, a few seconds can make a huge difference in the game. 
That means you need to get into an optimal position wherever possible and as fast as you can. Use every surface to bounce off, and don't shy away from even using the goal roof. If you happen to fly into the back of one of the goals, boost through the bottom net around the curve at the back and onto the roof of the goal to back out. Number 5. How to wield momentum like a boss. Our number 5 tip will hopefully help you understand how to use momentum to your advantage. Momentum is necessary when you're trying to beat someone to the ball. The momentum is basically the tempo of the game and who's in possession of the ball. Momentum concludes who has control over the ball and where it's going to be. To wield momentum, you can hit the ball with the corners of your car. You can also wait for a bounce upward to clear the ball higher and faster. Don't be afraid to use the corners of the field or the ramps on the walls. Ramps on the wall in particular provide the craziest bounces, which can be instrumental in stopping an attack and cause the ball to bounce way higher than expected, as well as adding momentum to a clear. Number 4. How to Master Rocket League Physics The Rocket League ball sometimes feels like a being of its own, but the thing is, your car operates with the same complex physics. It's just heavier, so we're here to give you a few handy tricks on controlling it, and, bonus, affect other players' cars. The first mistake people make is in how they dribble the ball. Don't dribble from directly behind it when you're heading straight towards a defender. Tap it forward from side to side. Throw it into the air for a bit. Alright, so now you've mastered dribbling. Now you can focus on more offensive behavior. Your heavy car can be used to ram into players. You may find yourself unable to boost fast enough to steal the ball out of a member's hands. When that happens, ramming your car into the opposition will weaken their focus and break up their defense offense system. Go a step further and destroy their cars. To do that, you need to race through them in a straight line while boosting. This will cause their vehicle to blow up and is officially called a demolition. This tactic forces the destroyed car to respawn on their side of the map, giving your team the advantage. Some people play as just enforcers, driving around and destroying cars. Number 3. Understand Kickoffs One of the things that can flip the momentum of the game is kickoffs. They can either cause or prevent goals in either direction. Here's the trick to master them. You want to meet the ball at exactly the same time as your opponent, so imagine a line from the center of the goal and through the ball, and then aim the nose of your car on that line, so that your point of impact and momentum go directly through the center of the ball. Another pro tip so that you don't lose the kickoff is to try to hit the dead center vertically when you dodge into the ball. Number two, use common sense and also your nose. You can't boost backward, so although the back is incredibly powerful to use, the nose on the Rocket League cars is ultimately one of the strongest and hardest hitting parts of your car. The front corner bumper is the hardest hitting part, but it needs a lot of practice and precision. You can also use your hood to pop the ball up. This will be more beneficial and better than any dodge or bicycle hits. This will also grant the ball a lot of precious height when you can't use the wall. Use an air roll to invert your car so you can hit the ball without risking getting the wheel touch that will take away all your power and slow down the ball's momentum. Number 1. Rocket League Etiquette As wholesome and fun as Rocket League is, it attracts a lot of extra competitive or toxic players. Don't play to that toxicity and just be nice. That means being a cooperative team player and not taking all the glory. On that note, you don't have to hit the ball as hard as you can every single time. Aggressively, hitting the ball will result in nothing 90% of the time. Aim for a lighter touch, dribble it across the field, or shoot it up the wall. Anything but brute force. Our last advice is that if you see that the opposite team has a goalie that's prepared to counter your shot, do not take that shot. However, that doesn't mean you have no chance of attempting a goal. Shoot the ball towards the wall or a corner to set it up for another shot. Don't hit the ball just because you can. There's nothing more frustrating or worse than having possession of the ball and having an uncooperative teammate go for your ball with tunnel vision instead of being considerate of your strategy. In the end, we're all here for the same reason. We've become addicted to this phenomenal game and we all just want to have fun.
Alrighty gamers, we hope you enjoyed the list because that's going to wrap it up. If you did in fact watch the video all the way through, we appreciate you so much and hope you enjoyed it enough to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell because we're always releasing more content. As always, we'll see you on the next one.